Why militaries around the world continue practicing airborne operations is not what you think. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that with the proliferation of accurate and effective air defense weapons, a mass airborne operation today would result in substantial loss of life and aircraft. However, the suppression of enemy air defenses or SEED can provide a window of opportunity to conduct airborne operations without the need to completely destroy an enemy's air defenses. But even a single C-17 carrying 100 paratroopers while traveling at 130 knots at an altitude of 800 feet would be an incredibly easy target for manpads. Manpads cannot be detected until they're fired, so to overcome the threat would require evasive actions which is not possible during a drop run and the countermeasures are only half effective. In reality, mass airborne operations are a thing of the past, outside of small special forces operations. Many military analysts believe that mass airborne operations serve no real value besides strategic projection and deterrence.